So is everybody out there watching the news and believing what the government has to say about, you know, food shortages? I sure hope not. Because if you are, you're going to be going hungry really soon. So let's get into what I'm talking about. Now, first off, what in the hell's going on with the freezers? Freezers have turned into toilet paper now. You couldn't buy a freezer now if you had all the money in China, which they don't have that much left anyways because of the bug. Get what I'm saying? But you can't get a freezer. I went online, looked at Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, a couple of other different department stores and everything else, and nobody has any. Oh, wait a minute. Amazon had one, a one foot by one foot cubic foot little freezer and $129 for it. Are you serious? I mean, you can't even put, what, a couple packs of chicken, maybe a steak and a bag of corn in there. But there's no food shortages, right? I mean, all of a sudden now you got, you know, no freezers. So somebody's buying the freezers. Somebody's buying up all the produce and the meat and stuff like that, and they're freezing it all. But why? The government said that there's no reason to worry. There's no such thing as food shortages. Well, by Lord, I mean, we should listen to the government. Really? Okay. So, I go into my local store. You go in there and you look and, yep, they got produce and everything else. What's the quality of the produce? Well, that's a little bit, you know, uh, on the iffy side. You know, some of it looks like it was picked too early. It's small. Um, I don't know. It's not the same as it used to be. Uh, I'll give you an example. The other day we went in there and we had we picked up some corn. We had to go in there and pick up a prescription for somebody. And so I went back and picked up some corn. Now the corn tastes delicious. But the corn, instead of being you know, eight, ten inches long, you know, a nice piece of corn, you know, it was like, you know, just a little bit bigger than a shotgun shell, and, you know, it's about, you know, yay long, you know, but they still charge you, you know, five years for, you know, 250, you know, you go over to the meat department, well, yeah, yeah they got meat, you know, I mean, very slim pickings of meat, you know, you not a lot to choose from. Your limited quantities. Same with your chicken. There's hardly any pork. Forget that. And bacon is just like, you know, well, for all you bacon lovers out there, if you didn't go and buy up a few extra packs and throw them in your freezer, there could be a lot of hurting people out there that like bacon. Maybe get you some bacon bits. Probably can't even get that. And that's imitation. But anyways, point of the matter is, you know, when you walk into the stores, you see it with your own eyes. You don't have to have somebody telling you between the news media, the newspaper, the radio, uh, the internet, the government, or anybody else. You're seeing it with your own eyes. Just wake up and take a look around. There's still shortages in the canned good areas and all that kind of stuff. There's limitations on just about anything that you can imagine. You know, you, you can buy, you know, one of this, two of this, or whatever, and, you know, that's it. You know, they're, they're, there's all these different limitations. So, I mean, if you got a huge family, I mean, I feel bad for people that have big families. I mean, you got a big family, I mean, you're pretty much screwed. But you can get around it. You just got to play the system. You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Just think about it for a second. So, oh, you take Billy, Johnny, Jody, and Jeff in, and you give them all money, and you tell them, okay, you're buying a pack of chicken and a pack of beef, and you're buying a pack of chicken and a pack of, and see where I'm going with this? And everybody goes down a different lane to check out, and the next thing you know, you just got around your limitations. But, hey, like I said, there's more than one way to skin a cat. So just remember one thing, people. The government is only looking out for the government. They don't care about you. You're nothing but a number to them. Numbers can be replaced. It's a big, huge party. But you're not invited. Till next time, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And we'll catch you all on the flip side.